Good morning, everyone. The sun just came up a few minutes ago, and it's really nice outside. It's a little on the chilly side, but not much. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some things going on in the garden. Sunflowers are getting big. The, um, yeah, sorry, I just said that box there. It looks kind of trashy, but, um, the sweet potatoes that are in there are doing really well. They got attacked by something, possibly one of our goats. We still haven't figured it out for sure. Because the goats were in here yesterday. I don't know how they, they pushed the fence down or something. But we fixed that. Anyway, they're doing really well. They're recovering fine. And I wanted to show you something I discovered last night. A couple of things while we were out here weeding. Here's one. I am having some, uh, okay, right here. That was three seeds. Three. This is cucumbers. This is the uh, bait alpha cucumbers. And all three of those came up. And I don't see any others just yet. I bet I can find some if I look around. There's one. A couple of them there. There's a brand new ones. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm having some new sprouts. And these, these right here, we weeded around the edge of the garden last night. And just threw it in here. That's why that's in there. But uh, we need to add some more straw or wood chips or something. Um, it's it's kind of thick, but it's all getting pressed down and, uh, you know, just kind of condensing. Okay, so last night, we were weeding along along the fence here. It's the fence of the garden. And I came across this. It's looking really good. I'm pretty sure that that is a tomatillo plant. We had some here last year, and they were kind of on the edge right in this area. And I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And... If you remember my video last year, I'll put a link to it below. Last fall, we had these growing like crazy, and I did nothing to them. And once again, here they are growing by themselves. Some volunteers. These are Indian sour jerkins. Y'all, these are super easy to grow. This is something I can't kill. <laughs> That's why I like these so much. They taste like little cucumbers. And they're probably about the size of a golf ball, but, but a little bit more elongated. They're, they're a little bit spiky, so they can hurt a little bit. Not bad. Um, but they climb. This one I found uh, wrapped around a, a really long weed. It was choking it out. But, um, yeah, super easy to grow. I'll, I'll put that other the link to the other video in the comments. So go back and watch that, and you can see what they look like. But super easy to grow, very easy to harvest, and each one of them, I count, I literally counted the seeds in one of them. They're about this big, and it had 200 little seeds, 200 exactly. So it's a it's a really great um, it's a really great little fruit to grow in your garden. Something else I wanted to show you, and I was going to video this inside actually, but the kids are all still sleeping, so. Um, I took some Fat Baby Atocha seeds that didn't sprout in the cups, and I wanted to see if they'd sprout. These are the Fat Baby Atocha seeds that I could find that did not sprout. Actually, if you look really closely at this one here, it looks like it has a little bit of a root on it. And then I did find one that had a bigger root on it. So... I think there's probably some others that I couldn't find that probably already sprouted. But I think I have five here. And if you look, they're kind of a dark brown color. They almost look black sometimes. Um, this is what the dirt looked like that they were in. So they were very, very difficult to find. But I'm going to take these five seeds and put them in a paper towel and see if I can get them to sprout. So I was hoping I'd find more, but five is better than nothing. So we'll see how it works. Here are the results. I had five seeds. I 
And there we go. Four of them sprouted. <laughs> so excited. So I'm going to get these in the ground today and watch them grow. They look pretty good to me. Here's what they look like after uh, two or three weeks, something like that. I have six of them that look like this. One, another one uh, looks a little bit puny. I'm not sure if it'll make it or not. It looks good. It's just kind of a light color. I think it's got too much water or something. We've had a lot of rain this past week. And then I have a, the eighth one didn't make it. So I had eight planted. Six are awesome. One's not. It's kind of questionable. But then I've got four other ones to add to it. So I'll have ten for sure. And these things produce a lot too. And they look to me, I haven't had success with them in the past. My own fault. But um, the guy I got them from, Zach from American Homestead, um, I've seen his videos on them. And they look similar to the Indian sour jerkins, but they're not in the same family, not in the same species. They're not going to cross, so I don't have to worry about that. But they look similar, and he said they taste like a cucumber, so I'm really looking forward to these. Sunflower. So I'll put all the links I can think of pertaining to this video in the description below. There's another sunflower. And I guess that's it for now. Got a little more weeding to do around the edge and some more planting to do. As soon as I extend this this fence right here to that area, I gotta fill in those holes. There's not much hay over there though. I need to add some of that. We've got some in the compost bin. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm like I'm gonna be busy today and maybe I'll get some of that on video too. Y'all have a great day.